Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla insurance goes live in Arizona and Ohio. Tesla unlikely to offer 5 or 7 seat Model X plaid seating configurations again. Tesla Model Y gets payload increase, new brakes and more. Tesla updates Model 3 performance feature, list to remove lowered suspension. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Insurance has officially gone live in Arizona and Ohio, becoming the fourth and fifth states to have access to the company's in-house coverage program. Tesla officially confirmed that its insurance program was officially active in Arizona and Ohio by adding the two states to the insurance webpage on its website. Arizona and Ohio officially joined California, Texas, and Illinois as the other states to offer the in-house program. The electric automaker officially launched its insurance program in August of 2019 in California. Rates were able to be offered at between 20 and 30 percent lower than competitors initially, mostly due to Tesla's understanding of its own vehicles. Tesla's vertical integration may have contributed to these lower rates, especially as the company knows its vehicle best. Because Tesla knows its vehicles best, Tesla Insurance is able to leverage the advanced technology, safety, and serviceability of our cars to provide insurance at a lower cost. This pricing reflects the benefits of Tesla's active safety and advanced driver assistance features that come standard on all new Tesla vehicles, the automaker said, when it released the program. Eventually, Tesla plans to expand its insurance program in all 50 states. Tesla Insurance is expected to launch in New York in the coming months, CEO Elon Musk said in September. Tesla Insurance could also launch internationally in Germany and Israel, according to previous reports. Moving to the next update, Tesla unlikely to offer 5 or 7 seat Model X plaid seating configurations again. Tesla is unlikely to offer the 5 or 7 seat configurations again for the Model X plaid, sources said. In early January, Tesla officially removed the 5 and 7 seat configurations for the Model X Plaid. However, it was unknown whether this move was a permanent one. In fact, many Model X Plaid reservation holders, with 5 or 7 seat configurations on their orders, have indicated that they have not received any communication from the automaker to revise their orders. However, sources told Tesla Roddy that Tesla is unlikely to make the five or seven seat options any longer. The six seat configuration is now the only seating arrangement Tesla plans to offer for the Model X Plaid. Additionally, these reports were confirmed by other owners in the Tesla Motors Club forum. One Model X Plaid reservation holder on TMC said that Tesla had contacted them to inform them that the seven-seat and five-seat configurations will no longer be available. Instead, the six-seat arrangement is the only one that will be offered for the Plaid. In some instances, Tesla is not applying the standard $6,500 upcharge for a six-seat configuration for those who have to have their orders revised. The TMC member who was told that their seven-seat Model X Plaid would not be coming to them stated that Tesla would deduct $3,000 if they kept the order and revised it to the six-seat configuration. Ultimately, the order was kept as a seven-seater and the TMC member switched from a Plaid to a long-range Model X variant. However, some showrooms are not offering the same discount. According to another user on TMC, Tesla told someone with a Model X Plaid on order that they could upgrade to the six-seat configuration for an additional $6,500 or cancel the order altogether. No discounts would be given. Teslarati contacted a showroom and the representative they spoke to stated that it was unlikely the five or seven seaters would return. The representative believed that Tesla could be switching to a single seating arrangement to streamline manufacturing. After all, only 11,750 Model S and X vehicles accounted for the company's Q4 2021 deliveries. The company delivered over 308,000 vehicles during 2021's final quarter. 
The Model X Plaid from Tesla is available for $126,490 before potential savings, an estimated delivery is pushed back to October 2022. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y gets payload increase, new brakes and more. Tesla has been pumping out Model Ys from Giga Berlin at an increased rate after being approved to build up to 2,000 test cars ahead of the official opening. At least two of those pre-production Model Y performance cars have landed in Norway, presumably for some cold weather testing. One was spotted outside a service center in Oslo with a license plate from Germany, while the other was actually registered in Norway and has Norwegian plates. Thanks to some keen investigative work by Tesla fans, we now know some new details about the latest generation of Model Ys. According to paperwork for the Model Y, registered in Norway, Tesla ship tracker Morton Grove discovered the maximum payload capacity, which is the maximum amount of weight the car can safely carry, is now 562 kilograms or 1,239 pounds. That is 172 kilograms or 379 pounds more than the current generation Model Y, which has a payload capacity of 390 kilograms or 859 pounds. This wasn't the only place a change to the payload capacity was spotted. Users on the popular TFF forum in Europe also discovered new type approval documentation, dated December 31, 2021, which stated the Model Y from Giga Shanghai has 250 kg additional cargo capacity. Along with the increased capacity, it also says the electric SUV has new Sanyu brake discs. It also confirms the addition of the AMD Ryzen processor and a new power steering ECU. Although the two figures don't match up, it is clear that Tesla has changed something with the Model Y to be able to increase its payload capacity. Maybe it is the result of the structural battery pack and single-piece front and rear castings. We will have to wait until we hear official confirmation from Tesla. As with any other change, the first appears in Giga Shanghai, these should eventually make their way to the Fremont factory in California. If it is due to the structural battery pack, we may see it sooner in Model Ys out of Giga Texas. Moving to the last update, Tesla updates Model 3 performance feature list to remove lowered suspension. Tesla is continuously making changes to their vehicles, introducing new parts and features throughout the year. The approach is different than that of legacy automakers, which only makes changes with model year refreshes. Tesla also sometimes removes features using the same approach, and the latest appears to impact the Model 3 performance. According to the online design studio, the high-performance electric sedan no longer features lowered suspension, as reference to this feature has been removed from the list of upgrades included with the model. Interestingly, you can visually see that Tesla still lowers the image of the vehicle when quickly switching between the long-range and performance models on the design studio. Additionally, the change has not been reflected on the Model Y performance configurator, which still lists the electric SUV as having lowered suspension. Tesla has not commented on what the change could mean. Some owners have been speculating it could mean the introduction of air suspension, which has been rumored to be coming to the Model 3 for years, despite assertions from CEO Elon Musk that it is not happening. While we don't have any information on this, it was not included in the long list of changes coming to the 2022 Model 3 and Model Y, uncovered late last year. The Tesla Model 3 performance is available to buy at $58,990 before potential savings, with a delivery date of March 2022. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.